Welcome to Math with Miss B. Number Theory Types of Numbers Types of Numbers You have natural, whole, integers, rational, odd, and even prime, composite, factors, and multiples. Natural Numbers The numbers used to count are called natural numbers. When we are counting, we begin with the number 1. 1 is the smallest natural number. The natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right on up to infinity. Whole numbers. The whole numbers are made up of 0 and the natural numbers. The whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going on up into infinity. 0 is a whole number only, while 1, 2, 3, right on up, are both whole and natural numbers. Integers are positive and negative numbers. The integers are negative infinity, go right on up to positive infinity. You can have an example of negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The numbers to the left of 0 are called negative, while numbers to the right of 0 are positive. Rational numbers. We use the word whole to describe a complete thing or group of things. When the whole is broken into pieces, each piece is called a fraction. A fraction is a part of a whole. Odd and even numbers. Even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Just keep adding 2. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 11, 13. Just keep adding 2. The even numbers, the odd numbers, and 0 together make up the whole numbers. Prime numbers. A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and 1 without a remainder. A prime number has two factors only, namely itself and 1. Examples of prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7. 1 is not prime number. It has one factor only, itself, which is 1. Composite numbers. Numbers which have more than two factors are called composite numbers. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Hence, 4 is a composite number. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Hence, 6 is a composite number. Factors. The factor of a number are all the whole numbers that divide into it without remainder. For example, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 1 is a factor of every number. Every number is a factor of itself. If the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9, then common factors of 12 and 9 are 1 and 3, while 3 is called the highest common factor of 12 and 9. Multiples. Multiples are formed by multiplying a number by a whole number. For example, the multiples of 6 are 6 times 1 equals to 6. 6 is a multiple of 6 times 1. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Ongoing. Therefore, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18 onwards. Exercise. List the natural numbers between 6 and 16. 2. List the whole numbers between 23 and 32. 3. List the integers from negative 16 to negative 6. You may pause the video to try these questions. Answers for number 1. List the natural numbers between 6 and 16. You have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Answer for number 2. List the whole numbers between 23 and 32. Answer 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. List the integers from negative 16 to 6. This is question 3. The answer is negative 16, negative 15, negative 14, negative 13, negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, and negative 6. 
Question 4. Insert the greater than or less than sign to make the following statements true. You may pause the video to answer these questions. Remember that if you take your left hand and you look at your index and your thumb finger and squeeze them together, you will have the less than sign. You can always use that as your marker. So 3 is less than 5. Negative 3 is greater than negative 5. Negative 3 is less than 5. And 3 is greater than negative 5. Insert the sign greater than or less than to make the following statement true. You may pause the video to answer these questions. E. Negative 1 is less than 1. Negative 1 is less than 0. 1 is greater than 0. 5 is greater than negative 5. And 0 is greater than negative 1. 5. What is the smallest whole number? 6. What is the largest whole number? 7. What is the smallest integer? 8. What is the largest integer? 9. What is the smallest natural number? And 10. What is the largest natural number? You may pause this video to try these questions. Here are the answers. 5. What is the smallest whole number? 0. 6. What is the largest whole number? Unknown. 7. What is the smallest integer? Unknown. 8. What is the largest integer? Unknown. 9. What is the smallest natural number? 1. And 10. What is the largest natural number? Unknown. To remember that 0 is a whole number, look at the O in whole. The highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of a group of numbers are determined by prime numbers. Determining the highest common factor HCF of numbers grouped together. Find the highest common factor of 3, 6, and 10. Here is a breakdown. So here we have the factors of 3, 6, and 10. We have 1 and 3. Both numbers are prime numbers. If you multiply 1 by 3, you get back 3. We have 2 and 3. If you multiply them, you will get back 6. And they both are prime numbers. And now 10, we have 2 and 5. 2 times 5 gives us back 10. And we see that both of those numbers are prime numbers. Looking at it now, we just list them out. So 3 will be equal to 1 times 3. 6 will be equal to 1 times 2 times 3. And 10 will be equal to 1 times 2 times 5. You look for the common number, highlight it or circle it, and you realize that the highest common factor of 3, 6, and 10 is 1. Now find the highest common factor of 18, 36, and 40. Great, so we found some factors of 18, which is 3 and 6, 36, 6 and 6, and 40, 4 and 10. If you look at it, we have one prime number there for 18, and all the rest are not prime numbers. They can be broken down further. Now that they're broken down, you see all the numbers that we have. So 1 and 3 brings back 3. 2 and 3 brings back 6 for 18, and then we have 2 and 3 repeated for both 6s for 36. Then we have 2 and 2 for 4, and 2 and 5 for 10. And it ends here once all of the numbers are prime. We put them in the sequence below. We have 18 equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 3. 6 is equal to 1 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And 10 is equal to 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. You look for the numbers that repeat all the time in each setting. So we have 1 being repeated and 2 being repeated 3 times. And then there's no other repeaters for all the numbers, right? If you look at it, you just have number 2 again, just twice. And then you have 3 twice, then once for 2. Right, so the answer for the highest common factor for 18, 36, and 40 is 2. Now you can determine the highest common factor for 24, 36, and 60 on your own. Your answer should be 12. Good luck. Let's move on to determining the lowest common multiple of numbers grouped together. So find the lowest common multiple of 2, 3, and 5. Again, we find the factors here. 
we say one times two one times three and one times three guess what two three and five are our prime numbers and so unlike in the highest common factor where you pick the number that repeats itself we use all the numbers present so one is there two is there three and five you multiply all of those numbers together and the lowest common multiple is 30. here's another way you can find it below demonstrates how you can find the LCM of two three and five write out the multiples and look for the lowest multiple that matches for two three and five and so you said 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. You got 3 and you see 30 shows up. 5, 30 also shows up. You get shorter, the higher the number. So therefore the LCM of 2, 3 and 5 is definitely 30. Let's find the LCM of 6, 12 and 15. First, remember you have to find some factors. Here I have 2, 3 for 6. 3 and 4 for 12 and 3 and 5 for 15. 2, 3 and 5 are all prime numbers so they stay as is. 4 is not a prime number. It has 2 and 2. 2 times 2 gives you back 4. So you write back all these numbers that you have now. So for 6 we definitely know we have 1 times 2 times 3. For 12 we have 3 times 2 squared. For 15 so in other words you have three times two squared right so this is how it ends here i usually i would tell people to bring it down so they're on the same line and then for 15 we just have three and five so I put the one in front which is not really necessary like how i don't have it here because one will bring back whatever you have and so now you pick the numbers that have the highest exponents of themselves right so one will come back I mean you don't really need it Two, the number two you see it and it's here but the highest exponent would be to two two raised to the power of two you bring that back then three the number three doesn't have any exponent but one as it's understood so you bring that back and then five you bring it down because there are no other exponents they so always pick the number of itself with the highest exponent of itself you multiply these numbers together and you get 60. Once again, you may write out all of the multiples of each of the numbers until you find a match. And if you look at it, you will see that you get back the number 60. Let's find the LCM of 12, 18, and 42. Remember to look for some factors. So here we have 12. We have 3 times 4 gives you 12. 3 times 6 gives you 18 and 6 times 7 gives you 42. And so for 12, unlike the one before, I brought everything down. And you will notice that you have 1 times 3, 2 times 2 gives you 4, 1 times 3. And so it might be a little bit easier to follow for this one. And we see that for 6, we have 1 times 2 squared times 3. I like to put the numbers in order. Then for 12, we have 1 times 2 times 3 squared because we have two threes. And then for 15, we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 7. So we look for all the numbers here. We know we have a number 1, we have 2, we have 3, and then we have 7. So we have 4 numbers to look for. But make sure that when you pick your numbers, you pick the 1 that has the highest exponent to it. So 1 times 2 squared, because that has the highest exponent of its number. Then we have 3 squared, and then we bring back the 7, and your answer will be 252. Now you can use the second method, but it would take a really long time. As the numbers start to get unfamiliar, it becomes time consuming. So the method one saves you time. It also saves you from having to use a calculator because what happens here is that after 12, you, you have to use a calculator for 18 and you would have to use a calculator for 42. So those are not things we gonna naturally know, right? So now you can find the LCM of 45, 60, and 110, and you may give this group of numbers a try. Your answer should be 1980. Good luck! Thanks for watching. Math with Miss B.